Um, family, you're tuned in to Real Lives Real Radio 104.1, your nightcap of comedy. My name is Ken Miller in the big chair tonight. What, Join what? the virtual studio with my dog, James John, because guess who ain't at work today? <laughs> <laughs> I give you three guesses and the first two don't count. <laughs> he out here making, making TikToks and reels holding kangaroos. <laughs> he can't bring his ass to work, man. Hey, I love the fact he had kangaroos and strippers together. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but I guess that's better than a stripping kangaroo, I guess. Bro, bro I ain't never had a lap dance in a pouch. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can you imagine getting a lap dance in the hand, come out the pouch to put the money in the G-string and then go back in? <laughs> You put the money in the G string, a little hand come out and take it. <laughs> it's, it's steal your money. Mm-hmm. That could be a that's a good heist movie. Like you like that is a- you're the you're the strip club and the oh man, where all the money at? And it's a kangaroo hand, little hand coming out. <laughs> little kangaroo jack. <laughs> but what's kangaroo. going on, family? Thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight. Wednesday night, April the 26th. Brand new show, man. We appreciate you guys. We've been rocking new shows for the past couple of weeks, man. And we yeah. truly, truly, truly appreciate the support. Uh, we're going to go ahead, first of all, before we get started, give a shout out to our sponsor. All right, we're going to go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsor. And if you guys are listening to this show and you heard the last one, y'all know that I'm back from the dead because they got me. They <laughs> sneak attacked me with a sales pitch <laughs> right after they gave me the itis. That's how you get a black That's dude, That's how man. you get them. <laughs> but we definitely want to shout out our new sponsor, our latest one. I not only have I worked with this gentleman, but I've actually hired him. So all the things I'm telling you is absolutely true. I am talking about 2018 Florida magician of the year, Mr. Todd Bogue, the ridiculous comedy and magic show every Thursday night in Daytona at the Shores Resort and Spa. Uh, the showtime is at 7 p.m., guys. The tickets are only $15. And like I said, it's hosted by 2018 Florida magician of the year. Todd Bogue. Now, you guys need to go check this show out. And for more information, please visit ToddBogueJokes.com. That is T O D D B O G U E Jokes.com. I've seen this man perform, and my wife's one of those people. She absolutely loves magic. Every time this guy would do a trick, she reacted just like black folks would get up, <laughs> run around the room, yeah. do the worm, pop drop and lock it, bop it, turn it, flip it, all that stuff, man. My wife absolutely loves Todd Bogan. and so do I. So you guys need to go check him out right now. Yeah, shout out to Todd Bogan. And a really good dude, too, man. Really, Yeah, really he is. Down to earth, good dude. And funny thing I didn't know about Todd Bogan, he used to be a bull rider in rodeos. I did not know that either. He used to ride bulls in the rodeo. I did not know that either. Bro, Absolutely. how you go from like riding a bull to like, you know what? I want to try that stand up thing. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I just feel like that's, we've talked about this before. I don't know what it is with people just like, hey, man, I'm going to go do comedy. What? Yeah, like why? I, I don't, I don't know what yeah. it is about comedy that you guys like. If you're listening to this, man, please comment and 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 let us know what do you love so much that you like. I'm gonna try this because it's hard. It's so it's it's hard. hard, bro. Like 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 we were talking before we came on the air. This weekend was really good for me because I've been in the funk with comedy. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like the shows have just been sucky. The audiences, I, they just ain't been good. The money ain't been good. And this weekend was probably my funnest comedy weekend I've had this year, bro. I'm glad, man, to bro, hear that, kid. I know how it it can – people don't realize that we'll, we'll have a period of time, a slump we go through where, where it looks like we're having a ball because people just assume because we're comics we always do. But, man, you're going through it. Your jokes, you're tired of telling them. It, the audiences haven't been the best. The gigs ain't really coming, and you're taking gigs you don't even take. You get a little funk, man. So, it, yeah, that, dude, that one I mean, good one, you, talk about just, it. Just uh, your life, you know, you yeah. can be going through. Because, you know, it's the tears of the clown. They Absolutely. They think, oh, we the comedian. That it's just the, everything great. You just you going through stuff. So Friday, dude, the corner. Let, let me tell you something, man. Hey, man. I ain't had that much fun on stage in a minute. It was one of the best. I like everything. When as a comic, it's like when your setup hits. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When you're starting, when people yeah. are laughing at the, at the setup before you even get to the punchline. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Did he say the? For real. (laughs) That boy said the. (laughs) And then Saturday, I did a cover bar in Tampa, Clearwater. Um, Clearwater. Okay. Excuse me, Ron Hortman room. Amazing. 
And then nice. Sunday, I, I did Wesley Chapel Side Spreaders, 45 people. It's in the, the movie theater. And just the thing that that I, I was, it, it was the best show of the weekend. It was it was better than The Corner. Really? But this is what, what really got me mad. <laughs> and and I, we've said this before. Black black crowds are hard. Are, are hard. They're, they're yes. very hard crowds. Black yes. crowds come in with the mindset of, you better make better me be laugh. Funny. Yeah. Well, white crowds. I was coming with the mindset of, ah, oh, he's here to make us laugh. And, yep. and I've known plenty of black comedians that say that we we are really hard to to make laugh. Yeah, I did an event that was an all black event, all black people. Um, I had to all white, and I bombed. What? I bombed, bro. I'm talking about. I almost told that lady, you could keep your money. Like Damn. older black people, I bombed. Fast forward to Sunday night. It's 45 people in there. 15 of them are older black people that look like oh. they were at that event that I had just done. <laughs> but this and, time they were black because they was going to try to and, give it to you. Bruh, hey, James, murdered. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, but you're just, it's the same. Demographic, so, yeah. It, yeah, like, it's, they the same age, same people, look the same, but for some reason in mixed company, it's different. They have a better time. I don't know what it is. That's that's weird to say that, it, it, dude. I've talked, hey James. You know you had a good show because I mic dropped. You mic dropped it. I mic dropped it. Like I, I when I was doing my closer, I said, "Man, I'm mic dropping this bitch." <laughs> hey, and when I hit that closer, and they went, dog. I'm telling you, you would have thought it was seven hundred people in there. I was just like, bop, and walked off stage. They stood up. Night, hey man, congratulations, Ken. Nice, that, bro. I appreciate it, but but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't. What what's the what's the difference? The difference. It's because I, it's I, a I, mixture I, of people. Is nope, it? Nope, not at all. Here is the thing about comedy, man. I liken comedy to a rocket launch for NASA. You know what it takes for a rocket launch to successfully launch, Ken? It takes the right time. It takes the right environment. The yeah. right people on can't, it. There can't it be takes, a cloud in the sky. It can't be a cloud <laughs> in the sky. You need the right conditions for a successful launch. And people don't realize comedy is the same way. You can't throw an event where the event is where the event where the focus of the event is not comedy, then put on a comedy show. Listen to me. Hear me out. Like when you have a charity event and the charity is the focus and people come there to donate money, they're there for raffles and whatnot, and then you hit them with a, hey, by the way, here's a comedy show. People aren't mentally prepared to turn their brains off, sit their ass down, and watch a comedy show because they said that they were coming to a charity event. Or if you go to an all-white party, you're there singing, dancing, drinking alcohol, you're doing an electric slide. That's the focus of a white party. Then you say, hey, by the way, everybody stop having fun and let's have a comedy show. The focus of the event's not comedy. And when you do that, you are setting up for a non-successful launch. And and that's that, why, I can. And that's 100% facts, man. Yep. I don't. I, I feel like I, I don't know, man. Like even we were talking off about about ticket sales. Like we we saw a, a friend of ours a couple of weeks. Uh, uh, you know, we loved it. The show wasn't sold out. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And, I mean, and we it, were in we were in shock. Like that 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 comedian didn't sell out. But I saw the social media guy that was there a week before. They so, added shows, bro. You know what I mean, like. It's, even do you feel like the dynamics of comedy are changing? Do people like yes. even when you look at young comics and 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 guys? I'm so sorry. We don't mean to make this a whole comedy about comedy show, but, but it's you behind know, the curtain. I think people it's, like it's to hear kind, about yeah. It. It's behind the curtains. Like I feel like a lot of comics now are doing those um, videos with the crowd work. Yes, like that's yes. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and so now when you co people come to a show, they they gonna blurt out random stuff, hoping and they do your crowd work TikTok. But like, so you feel like the dynamics of comedies change? Like, do people want the original stand-up comedian, or they want the crowd work? Like, okay. First off, it it let me start at the very beginning where I and here's what I mean by the beginning. There's still people that we meet who say I, this is my first time coming to a comedy show, which is crazy to me. Yeah, that's because, crazy. Yeah, but you still have those people, so they're only inkling or idea of a comedy show is what they see online 
And when I say online, a lot of people are watching TikTok videos. And TikTok videos can, just like you said, are a lot of comedians doing crowd work, interacting with the crowd. So they're already got a preconceived idea that that's what a comedy show is. I go there and I can talk back and forth with the comedian, which if you listen to this, you've never been to a comedy show. Don't take your ass to a comedy show because yeah. that is not what's supposed to happen. You're going to get your feelings hurt by a comic who does not want you to be a part of the show. And again, the next thing that we were you were kind of mentioning, Ken, is we saw a guy, a legend to us, an amazing comedian. I mean, amazing. Guy has had a career spanning almost 30 years of always killing. He didn't sell out, but the young guy that has a lot of followers and a lot of people see him on social media, they had to add shows for. So when you ask me, do you think the dy dynamic has changed, Ken? Absolutely right, because people's entertainment for the most part every day comes from social media and even if you're a comedy legend and you don't have a huge social media presence like that you can get lost which is absolutely crazy because the gentleman we're talking about is a legend in this yeah. business man and and a nice guy and and is a part of history when it comes to comedy so yeah absolutely man a dynamics change man that's me that's why you got guys like you and me ken and you've had success but well, we're trying to do TikToks now. We're trying to do videos and kind of learn what some of these younger guys are doing so well. Uh, because it's weird that we kind of understand and, and kind of um, know what we're doing when it comes to being on the stage. That's our yeah. thing. That's our yeah. passion. Man, but I couldn't tell you or put together all these ideas to post three times a day making funny videos. I just it, it ain't in me. Like, I can write jokes and do stuff and tell you all the funny stuff and make you laugh. But... Making a video is a science that I just have not figured out, dude. And I'm trying. <laughs> I'm with you, man. I, to the point where I got I got discouraged, and I'm like, I ain't honestly put no funny content up in months. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? It's because it's like you know you put something up and it get 500 views, and you're like, damn. And you put work into it. You put your yeah, soul yeah, you into know what it. Mean? Like you put your work and everything into it, and you're like. I got 500. Like, why? You know, why am I doing? And also, too, the originality factor of it. You yes. know, I want to do something that's yes. original because I watch a lot of these social media. It's a lot, a, a lot of just the same thing. Mm -hmm. Somebody will do something one day, and then another person's going to do that same thing the next day, and then the next. Then now you got five people doing it the exact same thing, and I'm like. You know, it's just not original to me. So I've been trying to find something. If I put something out mm -hmm. that that you know, and I know everything on the internet ain't gonna be a you know, a, you know, no. unless I'm I I can't I can't even think of nothing else unless I'm doing comedy naked. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, unless bro. I'm in the buff. You know bro. what I mean? But you know, just trying to put something out there that's that nobody's done mm -hmm. too. That's another hard one for me, man. It so. Is. Shout out to everybody that came out this weekend. I don't think y'all understand what that really meant for meant to me. You know, people who've seen me, you know, I've been doing some of the same jokes my whole career. Some of the jokes I've been doing the same jokes for five years. Mm -hmm. And people will still come up to me and be like, man, I done seen you 10 times. Nice. It's still funny. Man, that make you feel good. It, it, it? make you feel good because you know... It, you, you know, I, mean, I need to be writing something new, but sometimes you get into that funk where you're like, man, I ain't got nothing funny coming out the brain. So when people come up, man, it'd be like, hey, bro, I bought you a bag of flour to the show. <laughs> you know, what do you do, man? But we got we to gotta take a commercial break. When we come back, bro, we got to talk about food expenses. Okay. I went out to get something to eat today, and I was like, this, this how much this costs now? <laughs> So we'll be right back. Real Labs, Real Radio 104.1. Back, Real Labs, Real Radio 104.1, your nightcap of comedy. Guys, my name is Ken Miller in the big chair tonight. Do us a favor. Go out to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Please follow, like, and subscribe. We are up to date. I have put all of our shows on YouTube. Woo! And let me tell y'all something. They are funny. If they you are. did not, hey, Bruh. man, if you didn't catch last week's episode of Sarge and the Soldier Story. I let, I've watched that clip 50, 11 times, man. Trust me. These shows are funny, man. So please take your ass out there. Like, follow, and subscribe. Watch our videos. And if you want to check it out in podcast format, go to iHeart and you can search Real Labs and all of our shows are up there. Join the virtual studio with the teddy bear, James John, man. What's, with, what's up with you, brother? Man. 
man, I'm feeling good. First off, you're absolutely right. Thank y'all for following us. Thank you guys for supporting us, man. Keep doing it. We appreciate you. We ain't going to stop. And, and I just got to give a shout out real quick, man. We got to actually go out Friday last mm -hmm. week yeah. uh, as a group, as a, a, as a squad, if you will, man. And Orlando came out, man. We had some other comics out there to our Orlando comedy family. Got a shout out, Ash Cash, Dwayne, and Chris, man. And we got to go see Bill Bellamy. And here's the thing for me, bro. Bill Bellamy is a legend to me. I remember watching him growing up saying, I want to do that. Yeah. I remember seeing him in movies like, damn, I want to do that. And for him to have the longevity he has and for him to still be this damn funny is incredible, Ken. This guy is, is ridiculous. But he was so good to us. We came out. We got to saw Bill Bellamy. But I want to say something. And Casey, get ready. Now I'm talking to our engineer to bleep me because I got something to say. I posted about the fact that we went to see Bill Bellamy. I posted a picture that Ken was so kind to take. And Bill Bellamy liked my post. So for the next month, y'all can't tell me shit. Okay? <laughs> I just want everybody to know that. <laughs> for the whole month. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bro. And, dog, we went to the green room. Yeah. He was talking. This is the thing about Bill, and I love, because Bill is an old school comic. Old school comics love comedians. They do. Cause y'all gotta understand, we got a we got a brother. It's like I don't know other professions. Maybe if you're a doctor and you meet another doctor, you're like, "Yo, we doctors." Yeah. When oh veterans, when I meet another veteran, we yes. brothers. Like that's yes. we are brothers. That's family. Yes. And that could mean the same for fraternities, sororities. But yes. man, when an old school comic meet a comic, bro, we was you family. Yeah. Don't do. Absolutely. Don't even. You just, hey, man, because it's something about the way we're wired and 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 how we just know each other. Bill is huge on the brotherhood of yes, stand-up comedy. Yes, he, he really is, is man. And, um, and Bill's so we that got dude. This. If y'all don't yeah. know, Bill's that dude. And, bro, and don't look no different from 1993. <laughs> oh, he bigger, like muscular. Yeah. I'm like, like he was skinny in the 90s. He's a little bigger. He look exactly the same, bro. And, and I was going to say, I got to really get my ish together. <laughs> that bro. <laughs> For real, man. But shout, shout out, out to Bill, Bill Bellamy, man. For real, yeah. dog. But man, I, I before we quit the break, man. I, I, Joe. So I had before the show, man. I I took some steaks out to make, and oh, they ain't nice. gonna be they ain't gonna be defrosted by the end of the show. So they just what? gonna get cooked tomorrow. And <laughs> what you gonna um, eat tonight? I don't know, bro. I, but I was hungry, and so I swung by a fast food spot. I ain't even gonna say their name. Okay. I got a small fry. And a small sweet tea. What you think that cost me, James? Okay, a small French fry and a small sweet tea. Maybe, maybe four dollars. Bro, this dude says six ninety seven. Bro, what the? Woo! You could have said. I said I ain't get a. I ain't get a combo. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I ain't get a combo. What he come was, with a fry combo? I Another was, fry, <laughs> bro. I was like, I. Dude, I, and you know when you when you get, I got to the window, I, I said, I, can I see the receipt? The tea, the fries were two ninety nine. The tea for a small, for a small. The tea was like two some two ninety nine. Like like it, bro. I'm like a three dollars for a small. It's like well, it's peach tea. I was bro. like, so y'all just put some artificial flavor in real tea? Yeah, like, it ain't even. <laughs> bro, ain't no peach been in this tea. Okay? None, <laughs> Not none. none. For seven dollars, the the princess peach better been in that tea. <laughs> for seven dollars, <laughs> I better open this tea. And it goes Mario. <laughs> seven dollars for a small fry and a small drink, bro. Because then I got to thinking, I'm like, I'm. I used to remember back in my broke days, you could yeah. get like a a small fry. Small, it's like two dollars. Like yes. And a sweet tea used to be a dollar everywhere. Yeah, the dollar large tea from McDonald's. Yeah. Like, um, it's gone. Bro. And here's the thing. And people, I know we the old dudes <clears throat> complaining, but y'all think about this. They getting us, people. Fast food is almost expensive or as expensive as going to a sit-down casual restaurant. That's the truth. You can't go to the McDonald's now and not spend $10. You can't. Bro, unless you're just getting a, a small fry and a Bro. small iced tea. You can't go there. It's $10 now. It's $10 to $12 for everything. You can go to 
everybody got a lunch special like at Chili's, Applebee's, and whatnot, like an eight ninety nine or a nine ninety nine. You can go to a sit down restaurant and get unlimited drinks, like sodas if you buy one, mm -hmm. and get a meal for the same price as what used to be cheap fast food. Yeah, there's yeah. not even there's not even a dollar yeah. menu anymore. It don't exist. That's crazy. And you, I didn't even think about that. You're right. You Chili's, no dollar menu. Chili's got the three. Well, it was the three for ten, but I think it's three for eleven ninety nine now, twelve ninety nine. Yeah. But still, you got a burger, a fries. You get an app. You get an appetizer, appetizer and a drink, and a drink, and you can get. Bro, you, you can keep getting drinks. Drinks, yeah, bro. McDonald's, Burger King, and all these fast food. None of this stuff is cheap anymore, man. Like back in the day, you could go to like Taco Bell and get a sack full of food for ten dollars. Yeah, bro, a, a, a taco's two something now for one. Like yeah. everything is cheap. Like if you take your family, like say you got three kids, man, you take your family to fast food, you might as well just go to a sit down restaurant, man. You are spending a ton of money in the drive through now. It's crazy. That, that's bananas to me. And, I, I oh, do. oh, don't get me started. Don't ask for extra sauce. Oh, Lord, <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> oh, we will charge you 30 cents per, per, per hot mustard, barbecue sauce, buffalo sauce. Ain't nothing free. Yeah, they charge Not, you for it. So don't dude, ask. Uh, uh, Will Mills, a Orlando comic, had posted this video on TikTok a couple weeks ago about the how the the menu of McDonald's had changed from the eighties and nineties. Oh my god! And I remember in high school they had the two the two for two. Yeah, you got it because we used to get that before basketball practice. You get yeah. the quarter pounder was buy, buy one get buy two for two dollars. Yes, bro. Remember but like, that? Yeah, a quarter pounder by itself now I think is six ninety nine. Bro, I asked for a what's that meal? It comes with two cheeseburgers, a fry, and a coke. They told yeah. me it'd be a I, it would cost me a, a small Guatemalan boy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get it, bro. <laughs> you had to get your tax return back for that. Because <laughs> that was that was the cheap meal. Yeah, it was a cheap the cheap cheeseburger meal. meal was two ninety nine. The cheeseburger yeah. meal, the two cheeseburgers, the fries, yes. and the drink. And I always remember. I would get it with with um, Big Mac sauce on it because I felt like they made it fresh. <laughs> yes, bro, and that was under five dollars when we were coming up. Yeah, and you were like, "Yo, that's the meal for me." We, I could go there with my sister and we could both get that for ten dollars. Yeah. Bro, you bro. can't get nothing, nothing, dude. Six dollars, yeah, man. But while I was researching about the expensive fast food, I came across this article about uh -oh. fast food, and it and it got me, yo. So uh, researchers, a research team in China um, suggests that there's a link between depression and French fries. Good or bad? Like, they no, help like, you? No, it, it makes you depressed. <laughs> Eating or, French fries are, is depressing people now. And I don't think it's the fries. I think it's the price of the fries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to a restaurant yeah. you're like i want fries you're like here's your hot fries you're like yay that'll be eight dollars <laughs> <laughs> so here's the story bro a research team in china found that the frequent consumption of fried fruit fried foods especially fried potatoes was linked with a 12 percent um rise in anxiety and a seven seven percent rise in depression in people Damn. That didn't eat fried foods, and they say it was mostly linked to young men and young consumers. Really? Yeah. Okay. So if that was, I mean, I'm glad it's for young men because I was saying, man, I eat quite a bit of fries, so Bruh. I might be one of the most because that's the sons side, of bitches. that's the side item. For yeah, everything. for everything. That's, like, that's, the, that's the fast food side item. Like, who was in this? Who was in this thing when they came up with the side items for fast food and fries? Was that? Like, yeah. what was the other one? Like, was yeah. potato salad? <laughs> Man, hamburgers and potato salad. Nah, son. Nah, nah that son. wasn't it. Okay, okay, nah. I got it. I got it. How about hamburgers and coleslaw? Like, nah, nah. nah, nah that... I got it, bro. Hamburgers and grilled asparagus. They whooped his ass. <laughs> <laughs> He got fired. They whooped yeah. his vegan hey, ass. But Jay, yeah. they start getting close. They were yeah. getting the fan. Okay, what about hamburgers and mashed potatoes? Huh? Not. I like mashed potatoes, but we can do better. We need okay. something that we can. We if what if I'm what if I'm on horseback? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I'm just assuming it's the 1800s. Bro. Hey, if you go to a McDonald's drive through, like, hey man, let me get a Big Mac and a side of hay for my horse. <laughs> 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 
brother Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's stupid man. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, so I, that's that's funny because if it, it causes depression, I really I'm like, yo, who idea was it that the French fry was the side item? I mean, and, everything, chicken nuggets, French fries, yes. hamburger, French fries, French fries all day, man. And let's and let's be honest, man. I understand some people might be depressed because they're sick. Like if you go to the drive-through and you peek in and you see a brother working the fry station, you about to have. 3,000 grams of soda. (laughs) (laughs) Brothers, for some reason, love to overly salt everything. And and be salting and talking to everybody in the restaurant, not paying no attention. (laughs) But I will tell you this. Let me get some McDonald's fries that ain't got salt. Man, you will turn the car. You will drive the car through the building and be like, hey. Hey, can I get some salt? And back out. Bricks, car. <laughs> car look like, car look like Wreck It Ralph, bro. <laughs> bro, we are, we bricks, are so emotional. Bro. We are so emotional as people when it comes to our food and the fast food. Man, I work fast food everywhere, man. I would tell you the most emotional people I I would have in my line would be black folks. Do not mess black folks' food up, man. Yeah. We will, bro, we emotional. And, and don't and don't take too long either. That's nah, a, I saw that a meme last week talking about some black people being alive for two minutes. Like, man, this some bull. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes, <laughs> yo. If we didn't lie, man, this is some air. Everybody, everybody get fast food today. Ain't nobody cooking, and we, 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 we be mad at them. Like we should have had our ass on cooking too. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Black folks think getting food at a fast food restaurant should be like a, a NFL team with a no huddle offense. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. bro. So man, if you out there in the fast food world. We appreciate what you do, and I know it's. I know people don't think it's a hard job, but it's an annoying job because you guys deal with people on the regular. You probably ain't getting paid enough, but I feel like they probably should be paying you more. If I'm paying six dollars, almost seven dollars for a small fry and a sweet tea. Hey man, why are you talking, man? I saw that they be hiring on their little signs at McDonald's. They hiring for like sixteen dollars an hour. It make me want to quit my job on TV. Yeah, like hey, bro, hey, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey, and give you a bonus too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they be like sixteen dollars an hour, three thousand dollar bonus, and all the salt on them fries <laughs> that you want. <laughs> hey, we gotta take a commercial break. When we come back, hey man, the cockroaches are taking over. I Uh-oh. repeat, the cockroaches are taking over. Uh-oh. We'll be right back. Real ass, real radio, one hundred four point one. We're back, Real Ass Real Radio 104.1, your nightcap of comedy. My name is Ken Miller in the big chair tonight. Guys, do me a favor. Go out to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube and do me a favor. Go ahead, follow, like, and subscribe, and we'll truly appreciate that. Um, join the virtual studio with the teddy bear, James John. <laughs> we were just talking off air about my voice. I got a popcorn kernel stuck in my throat, and I was uh, uh, trying to get it out, and now my voice is... I don't talk about... All the whole show when I did the show Sunday night, yeah, bro, my voice was cracking. The whole, I felt I was like, y'all, I kept apologizing to the audience. I'm so sorry, y'all. Like, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry because the, <laughs> the comedy show is at a movie theater, yeah, and I had the popcorn before the show and a little kernel. And I was, I do, I had to deep throat myself to get the kernel. Oh, out. wow, <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, hey, bro, like, goodness gracious, man. Yeah. So, we were just you, talking off air about how much we love popcorn, man. We, we do, but it's funny because the way you sound, you got the ha, you sound like you're yeah. a black preacher. <laughs> hey, we, welcome back to Real Last. <laughs> I'm here talking to you. Ha, <laughs> if loving the Lord is wrong, ha, <laughs> I don't want to be right. Y'all don't hear me. He took five loaves of bread, bread. <laughs> two fish, <laughs> fed all of eating veal. <laughs> hey, yeah, that was my favorite. Me, though. That was my favorite part coming to America. He said he got Gilligan off, <laughs> off the, the island, island yo. <laughs> He was in the fire with me, Shaq, Shaq, Rack, and that Bendy boy. <laughs> Come on now. Can't nobody do that but my Jesus now. Yes, Come right. on. 
That's right. Bro. Yo, man, man, we're having fun tonight, man. Me and James, of course, um, Miguel ain't here as usual. Um, before I get onto the story, I want to talk about, bro. I meant to hit you up the other day, man. Okay. Uh, bro, me and you got to do better, James. Uh oh, what we doing wrong, man? I, I saw your place. picture. Y'all went to go see Chicago. You and your wife. Yeah, man. Hey, bro. Why me and you don't dress up? <laughs> we. Got- <laughs> hey. Hey, Dang. our, wi- our hey. wives be looking bad. Bro, our wives let me be looking tell y'all up. Michelle, gorgeous. Michelle got on a gold blouse. Bro, James she got, got on so black many compliments t- that night on hey. her shirt. Hey, James got a black t shirt and his yeah. beads on. <laughs> and I Air said, Force bro, Ones. I said, bro, wait till I see this dude. This, bro, bro you ain't I'm lying. the same way. I have on a polo shirt and some jeans. My wife would be in a fitted in Vogue dress. With red bottoms, with red bottoms, talking about some giving him sun and he get, and, I, and I'm dressed and I'm dressed like Pookie from New Jersey. <laughs> I look like Pootie Tang. I'm Tippy Tow. <laughs> Tippy Tang, bro. bro hey man, we got we got to do, right. do better, right. babe. We got to do better. But it's funny because I looked in my closet and I got like dress clothes. We do, bro. I, every day. I just yo, you do yo, you yeah. suit every day on air, bro. I got like five <laughs> suits, <laughs> but but I won't wear not now. Out out <laughs> not now. Oh, oh man, but shout out to our wives, man. Yeah. Michelle and Shaw for always be looking beautiful, man. Yeah, man, I be out here looking. Just they looking at me like this, your husband. <laughs> yeah, but really, yo, yo hey, you walk up to it and they be like, hey, man, the Uber driver can't come in with you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, James, they be like, hey, to help, you got to go around the back. Around. <laughs> like, hey, your husband look like he eats salt at McDonald's. Like... <laughs> For real, oh. man. Hey, man, I was looking up stories, man, to talk about, bro, and I came across this story. Uh, I'm a project kid, so I grew up with roaches. Amen. And um, apparently, the roaches now in Germany have taken the pesticide that they've been spraying it, tweaking it, and doubling the pregnancy of female roaches. What? Bro, they take they taking the cocaine, putting baking soda in it. It stepped on. <laughs> and stepped on it, bro. Bro, so apparently they've come they, they they have some type of pesticide there that is sweet. It's a sweet pesticide. Uh-huh. Well, apparently the male cockroaches have taken that pesticide, tweaked it, and now when they, you know, mate with a female. Their semen is sweeter, and it's it it causes more went more female roaches to want to mate. Hey man, you telling me is they put pineapples in that pesticide, <laughs> 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 bro, bro, yeah, that, bro, bro. Do you know these dudes mate for ninety minutes? Damn, yo, I'm, in, ro- I'm impressed, bro. Ro- the roaches on them hymns, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> them hymns. No, bro. They on that blue chew. <laughs> Cialis. Let me find out a roach and got Viagra in the little sweet serum. Bro, 90, 90 minutes. Bro, that's the length of a, 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 a romantic comedy. Bro, bro. for yeah. real. So they, you, they actually Netflix and chilling, watching yeah. the whole movie. Uh, I can and- watch I can watch Boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, when, you, when I researched these stories, bro, the, the stuff I find out, apparently the roach got the end of the roach penis is a hook. Like, they hook the girl in and she can't go nowhere. So for 90 be, minutes, she gets bro, this sugar put in her. Bro, you need <laughs> to tell me that sex for roaches is like the Apollo Theater. And you get the, <laughs> you get the hook. <laughs> Roach penis be tap dancing in there, bro. Did you just say the roach said, man, the cool. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> bro, I don't know what's wrong with us, man. What's oh, that? man. I love this show. Bro. If y'all understood how much fun we have, bro. thank you guys for continue listening to this foolishness, man. This is great. <laughs> hey man, hey check it out, B. I don't know. I know your your show's going well, and if you want thinking about leaving, I got a job opportunity for you. 
Uh oh, what what kind of job are you talking about, man? Uh, uh, because Tucker Carson and Don Lemon got fired. Bro, so you... <laughs> on the same saying. day. I'm just saying, bro. They bro. this job offering out there, B. I think you should go and submit your tape. I'm going to Fox News because it's, <laughs> it's funny around there. <laughs> hey, because they don't they they just report. They don't believe yeah. nothing they say. They just report. But, and that's the crazy part. They came, it came out, or it was leaked that they don't even believe half the ish they say. Man. Nobody cared. They kept watching, bro. You Bruh. know what it's like? Fox News <laughs> is like wrestling. You know it's not real, but you still care. Yeah. And, and you be <laughs> mad when somebody ain't hey, with you on it. Yeah. Look, hey, what bro, you mean? Well, let me put you in the figure four and see how you feel. <laughs> huh? Huh? Let me jump on the top turn buckle on you, James, and see how you feel. This real, baby. <laughs> let me put you in the stone cold stutter and see what happens. Yeah, let me see what happened, B. <laughs> Bro, but they both got fired on the same day. What kind of issues going All down? Right, in Dude, I'm I'm starting a conspiracy. Okay, go ahead, man. Talk about it. All right, right now the X File music is playing. <laughs> so check this out. Tucker Carson, right? Yeah. Right winged. Right wing it, man. Right wing. Don Lemon, left wing. Left right, wing. Right. Yeah. I'ma start the rumor that they had a gay love affair. Oh and, yeah. And they couldn't. And the and the news company was like, "Yo, dog, we can't have this. Be y'all can't be fraternized. We can't be a house divided. I like it. <laughs> Ooh, a house divided. Get not a house divided. Yeah, yeah. So I broke start, up a happy yeah. home. I'm gonna start that rumor, bro. Oh, right now. You know, yeah, that's y'all heard it here first. So y'all heard it here first, man. Yeah, man. So Tucker Carson got fired because he has a romantic uh, love affair with Don Lemon. Mm-hmm. Botan yeah. even looked the same lately, man. <laughs> 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 oh, man. It's funny his name's Tucker because that's his go-to move. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and the, and, and the safe word is Lemon. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> You want to come over uh, my house and make Liberty Day? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys listening, do us a favor. Write in the Fox News and let them know. James John is ready to take Amen. over. I am. They're ready to take over, bro. Ready, we, yeah, okay, we ready. It's like Coke rapper, but he going to be up there talking about stuff he don't even do. <laughs> bro, I'm <laughs> going to make up the... Talk about all kind of drugs. Yeah, I'm going to make up drugs. the craziest stories <laughs> and they'll be like this guy understands he yeah. gets it <laughs> hey. Hey. i'm hey. like hey you ever notice hey hey <clears throat> hey my republican brothers i'm just make stuff up i'm like hey my republican brothers you ever notice that joe biden and freddy krueger are never in the same place <laughs> <laughs> did you know that one million uh illegal immigrants voted in arizona one million yeah one million Ill Ill illegal immigrants voted in arizona Gotcha. I bet I bet a thousand of them had Viagra taking roaches in their house. <laughs> He's making up stuff, bro. I'm making I'm just making up stuff. A million of them. That's right. Yeah, yeah. 10, 10 million aliens voted in New York. They're not bro. illegal aliens, like actual aliens from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Mars. <laughs> actually, bro, actually act, real aliens, bro. Hey, men in black is not a movie, but an actual documentary. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> Hey, speaking of New York, uh, congratulations to the New York Jets. You guys have a brand new quarterback. You do, yes. Aaron Rodgers. I'm gonna tell you like this: If Aaron Rodgers wins a Super Bowl with the New York Jets, he ain't gotta pay for food in the state of New York for the Ever. rest of his life. Ever. Which I Ever. don't know why, James. That's the go-to when you famous. In your city, like you, bro, don't have you, to pay you ain't gonna never pay for a meal ever again. Like LeBron nah, ain't gotta ever pay for a meal in Cleveland. He nah. ain't gotta pay for a meal. He worth seven hundred million dollars. Dollars. Like I'm like, yo, <laughs> charge that mother. He <laughs> <laughs> go to for any boy he ever win. He ain't gonna never. How about I? Hey, he if you win, man, you can get a brand new house there. I give me something else besides bro, food. I, bro, I'm trying to stay healthy. I can't eat these hot dogs. He's trying to feed me. <laughs> these fries giving me depression. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the Super Bowl. Now I'm sad. What That's are we right. doing yes. here, man? I'm at home just eating fries. <laughs> don't look at me. I'm a cry. Yo. <laughs> man, but because they won the Super Bowl, I think the Jets were either the first or second team to win an actual su the, the real Super, like the Super Bowl Super Bowl. They, they won with Broadway Joe, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Matter of fact, let me let me check that Jets Super Bowl. I think they're like one of the first. Like Super Bowl one or two or something like that, man. When they wow, bro, you got to give them credit though, people <clears throat> who are fans of the Jets because they are not fair weather fans. They in it for the long, long yeah, haul. Yeah, they God. in for a long, like, long like haul, the, bro. Like, 
Detroit for a long time, man, didn't have a squad, and people were still riding with him. So God bless him, bro. Yeah, 1968. And did they win one after that? No, they ain't won one since. Ugh. Bro, 1968. And they, they were close. In the 80s, they had really good teams with Bernie Kosar. And yeah. uh, God dang, I can't remember their running back. Um, uh, Because he fumbled on like the one-yard line. Like I think it was Ooh. Ernest. Bynum. I can't remember yet. But they've had really good teams. And they just didn't. Um, Couldn't make it. Yeah, they just didn't make it. But yeah, dude, shout out, shout out to them, man, to the Jets, yo. But man, we got like a minute left. Hey, where are you gonna be at this weekend, Playboy? I'm actually gonna be at the Riverside Theater. That's right, in Vero Beach for Comedy Zone. I love working that place. I'm gonna be there with Abstar Siddiqui, a good friend of mine, man. Come check us out. Let me tell you something, man. I, I love the growth of comedians. Yes. That young boy is funny. Him yes, he is. Him, Jake Clark, man. I, Shout I out gotta, to I gotta my show, peoples. I yeah. gotta show love to Ash Cash, bro. Yes. When I tell you she killed on, and I've seen her bomb all the time. Yeah. She did great hosting. Shout Dwayne Williams, you, Chris Alexander, Marvin, yeah, uh, Izzy, man. Tim, like, like, dude, just guys understand we are watching y'all. If y'all don't think we, we, are. Are, we truly are watching y'all, man. But yeah, dude, great, good feature, bro. You got that's a, a good feature, that man. And, and my home buddy <clears throat> hooked me up with to work at the Improv that um, one Florida's funniest man, um, Donald Evans. Donald Evans. Funny, I'm sorry, another, Donald. Another I, funny dude. I'm just talking to him today. Donald Evans, very funny as well. Another funny dude. Yeah. So tonight, if you listen, I'm actually in Port Charlotte at the um, uh, Vasani's Comedy Club headlining tonight. Um, if you're in the area, run on over, get them tickets. They ain't but ten dollars for me. Then Amen. the rest of the weekend, I'm featuring for Ornie Adams and Port Charlotte. Um, Thursday through Saturday, and then Sunday I will be at the Miami Improv with David Nehill. So, uh, come out, check us out, man. We appreciate you guys for listening, man. Brand new show tonight. I'm Ken Miller. That's James John James. Tell they ass what to do. Take your ass to bed. Good night, family. <laughs>